So in this lesson we will look at the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a cubic polynomial. So a general form of a cubic polynomial is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, right? So we can express this as k times x minus alpha times x minus beta times x minus gamma. Similar to how we expressed a quadratic polynomial earlier like k times x minus alpha times x minus beta. So a cubic polynomial will have three roots. A quadratic polynomial will have maximum of two roots. So here because it has three roots we will have a new factor called x minus gamma. So in this way we have factorized this cubic polynomial. So now let's try to multiply all these three terms. Let's begin with the multiplication of first two terms. x we already seen that x minus alpha times x minus beta can be expressed as x square minus alpha plus beta times x plus alpha beta. So that's your first term multiplied by x minus gamma. So now let's multiply these two terms. So x square times x is x cube minus alpha plus beta x times x is x square plus alpha beta times x is alpha beta x minus gamma times x square is minus gamma x square minus gamma times alpha plus beta times x is plus alpha plus beta times x gamma minus uh, gamma times alpha beta is minus alpha beta gamma. So if you simplify this we have x cube so if you observe there are two terms here with minus x square so minus x square is over here right and similarly minus x square is over here. So by taking minus x square common you have alpha plus beta plus gamma similarly you have two terms in x with x in common so here we have alpha beta x and over here we have alpha plus beta times x gamma so multiplying gamma and alpha plus beta you have alpha gamma plus beta gamma right plus alpha beta is another term and x is common similarly the last term is minus alpha beta gamma so you multiply each term with k so you'll have kx cube minus k times alpha plus beta plus gamma times x square plus k times alpha gamma plus beta gamma plus alpha beta times x minus k alpha beta gamma. So if you see this now this is in the form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. So equating the coefficients a is equal to k, b is equal to minus k times alpha plus beta plus gamma, c is equal to k times alpha gamma plus beta gamma plus alpha beta and d is nothing but minus k alpha beta gamma. In the previous slide we have seen the coefficients equal to these terms. So now let's try to find the sum of the roots. Sum of the roots is alpha plus beta plus gamma. So over here we have alpha plus beta plus gamma is nothing but if you take minus k on the other side you have minus b by k. Again k is nothing but a. So minus b by a. So the sum of the roots of a cubic polynomial is equal to minus b by a where b is the coefficient of the x square term and a is the coefficient of the x cube term. So that's your first relationship. The second relationship is if you look at it here you have a special case where we have product of the roots taken two at a time right alpha gamma plus beta gamma plus alpha beta these are product of the roots of a cubic polynomial taken two at a time. So this is nothing but c by k right because you can take k on the other side and k is nothing but a so that is your second relationship. So the sum product of the roots taken two at a time is nothing but c by a where c is the coefficient of the x term and a is the coefficient of the x cube term. Last is the product of the roots alpha beta gamma. So that's nothing but taking minus k on the other side you have minus d by k and k is nothing but a so it is minus d by a. So the product of the roots of a cubic polynomial is minus d by a where d is the constant and a is the coefficient of the x cube term. So these are the relationships of your roots of a cubic polynomial and its coefficients and constant.